First, let me tell you a story about stories. We've been telling them forever. They're a part of us, and we love them. Some aspects of storytelling are timeless. Great characters, drama, the ring of truth. But does where we tell them change how we should tell them? We've gotten really good at telling them here, when we're sitting on the couch, taking in what's in front of us, waiting for the story to unfold. But how does that change here? The screen is smaller, but more than that, it's in our hands, in our pockets. It's with us everywhere, all the time. And we could be watching almost anything. We started experimenting because we realized we don't know the best ways to tell stories on mobile. So we started asking questions. What are the rules of this new environment? What do people want from it? What thrives here? When I was like six years old, you know, there were three networks and a few local stations. Something would be on channel two and then you didn't like that commercial. And then you go to channel four, same commercial, same commercial, same commercial, same commercial. So you're gonna get it whether you want it or not. Well, today, you don't have to get anything you don't want to get. So that means you have to want to look at it. Simply taking a TV ad and putting it into a mobile device, the analogy is sort of like taking a Picasso and trying to stick it into a dollhouse. You know, you've got to give it a deeper thought. And it's kind of a no-brainer for brands to just go, throw our ad that was on TV and just throw it on digital, mobile, you know, true view. That may be what they want to see. We weren't sure. So he took one video, cut three versions, and measured to see what people would watch. We started with an idea that we knew had uh, all these legs to live in multiple channels. Hey, pass me a kickstart. The choices we made in Edit One was basically taking our 30 and putting it on TrueView. What we were noticing is that a lot of brands on TrueView were throwing their product in the first five seconds. For them, it was a way of like, well, if they're gonna skip out my ad, at least they'll see my brand. So we wanted to create a long form, kind of intriguing, doesn't feel like an ad, doesn't look like an ad, um, and it's just pure fun. With mobile, it's always kind of ingrained in your head that you have to be quick. So my predictions were they were probably gonna drop out sooner. But they didn't. The view through on desktop was pretty much the same for all three cuts. But something strange happened on mobile. People watched more of the third cut on mobile than anywhere else. People who chose to watch, watched for much longer. Maybe mobile is not about being quicker, but simply better. To come out and, and, and say, yes, they're willing to engage longer on mobile. I think that's the big key takeaway. Millennials and Gen Z, they love brands. They just don't like being sold to. Viewers of the third cut didn't recall having seen an ad, but they still remembered the brand. The lift was the same across all three versions. We noticed that on all three, the, the brand awareness was pretty much equal. That's a better way of measuring success. It's less about, yes, yes, I saw an ad. It was more about, yes, I saw the brand. In terms of what we hope to learn from the mobile recut, it's just what really resonates, what really engages most effectively through mobile. It's zero sum every day. There's new things always happening. Consumers are trying new things we didn't know. I don't even like calling them consumers. That's a terrible word, people. People are doing new things, discovering new things, engaging with brands as they never did. So we're already learning a lot, but there's a lot more we can learn, and that's why this whole thing is so exciting. You've always had to tell a great truth and a great story about a brand. It's not a nice to have, it's a must. Awesome. That's great. Great. All right. Yeah. So you can cut around that. You can cut around all my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> that was 